<laughs> that gas station smelled like straight patchouli oil and incense. Hello, Akbar! <laughs> Detroit area um, and Michigan is absolutely terrible on these roads um, some of the worst and in it we have some of the highest insurance rates in all of the United States one because of Detroit um, and you can see why there's a lot of theft a lot of crime Nobody wants to insure their vehicles. And I wish I would have rode today, man. It, it was it was pretty decent, like 60 something degrees, sunny. But God, dude, it was freezing this morning, like 38, 39. I am not about to jump on my bike in that cold of cold of weather. I'm a uh, I'm a determined rider, but man, I can wait, you know. So. So I haven't been riding to work or anything, but the cool thing about it is, is that um, my house, I actually live right off the highway here in Michigan, so I'll be able to, um, sorry that music is annoying, isn't it? So I'll be able to vlog and stuff on uh, heading off to work, coming home from work, um, and actually, there's a sweet graffiti wall that I've seen down in Detroit when I was down there yesterday and uh, I instantly thought about heading there and taking um, taking pictures of uh, the uh, the bike up against the wall which would be slick man uh, about two weeks ago I went down to Toledo to the 419 ride I've never ever been in a group ride that big it was pretty chaotic to say the least. Um, a guy that I ended up talking to at the halfway mark, he uh, he was one of the blockers. He was riding a I don't know 1000 GSXR stretched and no riding gear, no helmet, no jacket, no gloves, and. Um, he ended up getting rear-ended by another rider because he was trying to race to the front to uh, to block. Now I, under I understand the importance of blocking, especially in a group ride that big. But if you're gonna do that, at least at least wear your full gear: your helmet, your jacket, your gloves, your you know. Um, but. I could kind of sense in the nature of this ride that things uh, things weren't going to go exactly as the plan and that somebody was going to get hurt and lo and behold someone did when you got like 200 something riders together you got all these different riding capabilities someone that's you know your wheelie popper your 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 stun riders your you know your average your intermediate your shit getters and then you got, you know, people there for the first time. Now, I'm more of a defensive rider that uh, I kind of anticipate what's going to happen. I don't stretch my uh, my capabilities. If I'm if I'm not confident going into a corner at those speeds, I'm going to back down, man. You know, but but I want to get something together like that up here in Michigan. And uh, I'm actually shooting for the Woodward Cruise this year. Uh, Chasing Chaos is going to come out. And a couple other riders from the Toledo area. Midwest riders. And um, it should be pretty fun, man. As long as the weather is holding out pretty decent. Last year I ended up getting caught in some rain with, um, with the girlfriend on the back. We were squidding it out because it was so hot. She didn't like that too much, so hopefully this year it doesn't rain, man. So yeah, so that's my life in a nutshell. Um, been working.
working my tail off, man, uh, trying to crank in these overtime hours. And um, so hopefully I'll be able to get my finances up. You know, I'm not necessarily hurting right now, but you could always use more money, you know. And um, been watching a lot of moto vlog videos and it's hard to make it big and i don't plan on making it big i don't plan on becoming popular or anything like that but like uh some of the material that i want to get out there is uh solely for me and um i figure i got a camera i love to ride and um there's not many moto vloggers up here in michigan so i'm gonna go ahead and do it man i'm like 30 minute ride from uh, downtown Detroit and midtown Detroit so if you like listening to my ass okay wait if you like hearing me babble about some shit and just talking well awesome but uh, coming up soon probably next week sometime I'll post some material with me actually moto vlogging on my R6 so hey keep it tuned this is your boy Yama Blue signing off. Tuesday! Bye-bye! Check out this truck. <laughs> There's a giant mole on it. <laughs> oh, man. I thank God that I don't have to drive that thing. <laughs> Guy probably loves his job, though, man.